already told me you're not at your highest potential right now and I'm here to fix that. I don't know about you guys, but when I was younger, I would search on YouTube literally how to be more attractive and all the videos were like a freaking hour long documentary about how beauty starts on the inside. Stop, Come on board. Beauty starts from within. You that's true, but like we already know that because everyone already tells us that. So I'm gonna give you actual practical steps now. <laughs> I need you guys to drink water like there's going to be a drought tomorrow. Oh, but I hate water. It has no taste. Girl. Girl. No, because the real issue is why are you guys drinking everything but water? I'll be on Instagram and I'll scroll through my stories with your white claws. Me and Emily getting freaked up. Huh? What, brother? Wasn't Emily just helping you light your 16th birthday candle? So remind me again, what exactly is getting freaked up besides your gut health and liver? While I'm waiting for your response. You're the same people walking around like this is a freaking walking dead casting call. I'm talking about, I have no energy, I'm tired all the time, I feel death calling. That will down a slurpee, 9 a.m., a freaking 7-up, which isn't a 7-up. It's a 77 grams of sugar and up. I would literally never tell you guys to restrict your eating or anything. It's just... <laughs> Try your best to eat well if you slip. I'm already on the freaking ground with you, so see you there, right? But if I've ever influenced you to do anything before, let it be this. Chug a big sip with me right now. Stand, Stand up. up. I can feel my pores tightening. So yeah, those are the benefits, which leads me to my next point. One of the biggest ones, in my opinion. You do not need makeup to be pretty. This goes for guys and girls. You do not need makeup to be pretty. I think the three main elements that you should focus on your face is skin, smile, and eyes. Your skin does not need to be clear for you to be pretty, but it does need to look clean. Having glowy skin, even if you have acne, bro, that's your freaking base. That's the foundation. Have you ever had such a good skin day, like on a summer day, and there, ah, the salty breeze in the air? I could fully be wearing a Ziploc bag and have like the most frizzy like lion mane hair But I would still feel good because my skin is literally glowing like it's radiant, bro If you guys ever feel bad about your skin Just remember nobody on this earth has perfect skin how to achieve glass skin and you can't don't let these morons of influencers online Trick you with their theatrics hashtag glass skin hashtag self care was that the smoothing tool or was that Accutane? Oh, okay. I'm not bashing Accutane, bro. Obviously it works. It's just like not everyone can afford that. Yeah, everyone has little flaws in their skin. Better yet, I'll pull up a picture of my face, bro. I'm so scared. Okay, this was the night before a photo shoot. I was literally so bamboozled. Anyway, Panoxo saved me. I kind of don't even want to post about this because I like to keep that. I think it's because of how strong the ingredients are. I literally think it just doesn't even give acne a chance to like manifest on your face. It literally just like burns it. I probably don't have an epidermis right now, but like it works so well. Killing your insecurities. If you have an insecurity somewhere on you, like everyone on this freaking earth does. I don't want to hear, I'm the only one in the world that has this, like it ruins my whole face, it makes me unlovable. What? I can't love my body until this goes away, huh? If I could reach through my screen, grab you by the ear, and drag you through radioactive battery acid, I would take the opportunity because what are you talking about? Nobody feels like this. Everyone feels like this. Everyone has something that they wish they could change about themselves. And if you think for a second, someone is looking at one of your flaws being like, oh my gosh, this is disgusting. It's your insecurity. It's not theirs. They probably have thousands of their own. So why would they worry about yours? Tip from me, don't hide your insecurities. Give them something else to look at. If you don't want someone to notice something about you, give them something else to look at. Of course, ideally you should embrace your insecurities, but I know I'm not gonna sit here and give you the free freaking self-love talk because I'm not even actively doing that myself so I would be a hypocrite. Yeah, so for me, it's literally having freaking Batmobile eyelashes that are ready to fly away. I don't do like eyelash extensions but I really like to like highlight my eyes. Ew, Alana, is that a pimple? Where? If my eyes stand out that much, they're not gonna look at anything else, bro. Star of the show, right? So for this exercise, think of a compliment you get a lot. Like, you know, when like, you're like meeting your parents' friends and they just like have to like say something so it's not like awkward. Like, instead of like, oh, you've grown up so much. It's either my smile, my hair. I literally like never take care of my hair, but whatever. And my eyes most of the time. But yeah, those are the things that people will notice about me the most. Those compliments that you're getting, those are the things that you should try to freaking Exploit, not exploit is not the right word. Enhance. 
even if it's something like wearing more colors that people will tell you you look good in another tip black and red looks good on everyone those are like the indisputable colors and that's psychologically proven so my gosh I'm just full of knowledge today huh and you know deep down no matter how self-deprecating you are there's one thing that you really like about yourself maybe it's your waist eh? people tell you they love your energy that's always really good maybe it's your hair eyes is a big one I think everyone should like try to enhance their eyes in some way for me I have a scar on my cheek I'm not freaking showing you that it's like not that noticeable but it's there so like if someone's about to look at it no you're not are you kidding me shine bright like a diamond you're gonna look at my eyes so the compliment that you've heard the most take that and run with it one person told me i had a pretty smile when i was younger you would think i'm a freaking guest star in the emoji movie because the way it never left my face after that i was like <laughs> bro like would you guys watch a video if it was like how to make everyone obsessed with you I've studied this stuff so I have all the knowledge of it. Let me know if you like any how-to videos because I love giving advice. I wanted to keep today's video short because I'm posting every day. So, so yeah, bye guys. Watch hey, all my other videos. Who is a liner? Who this TikToker got it popping? Hey, educated